Daytona, home to one of the largest motorcycle dealerships in the world. Let's go talk to Bruce. So Bruce, this place you built, it's like a theme park for bikers. Yep. And because of this place, you sell a lot of motorcycles. Yeah. And the bikes, they need to be insured? Of course. So why do your customers like Geico Motorcycle Insurance? Because this guy saves people money, and he's always around to help. Mr. Rossmeyer, call on line five. Mr. Rossmeyer. Geico Motorcycle. Let's ride. I was training for uh, two months. I was on a strict diet and just working out every day and really couldn't do anything but just work out, just getting ready for the combine, getting ready uh, to work out for the teams. And uh, all that hard work paid off. It seemed like it took forever, and I, and I went early in the draft, so uh, it was just that whole waiting process, and I, you know, sweated out my whole entire suit. Very nervous, but it made me a San Diego Charger, so uh, I've been happy ever since. The NFL Draft, live on NFL Network. Now, get big arms, a ripped chest, and cut abs with the perfect push-up. The perfect push-up works with the natural rotation of your arms and shoulders to maximize results and minimize stress on your body. With the perfect push-up, your hands, arms, and shoulders rotate 90 degrees, just like in a punch. All the energy of a push-up is captured and transmitted right where you want it, to the muscles. There's no wasted effort, just muscle-building movement. And as your arms rotate, you feel it work in your biceps, your triceps, your chest and abs, and your shoulders. Invented by a U.S. Navy SEAL and made with steel and a ball-bearing movement, it's the push-up perfected. So here's the deal. The perfect push-up is only two payments of $19.95. When you order, you'll receive two Perfect Push-Up rotational handles, and you'll also receive the Navy SEAL-inspired Perfect Push-Up workout chart. You'll be ripped in no time. Get big fast. Call right now for the Perfect Push-Up. Bottom of the sixth inning. Oh, wait a minute. What am I saying? It's halftime, but the score is 4-3. <laughs> to three. This is a football game. As night has fallen in Dusseldorf with Berlin, Leading it by one and looking back at first half action, a lot of mistakes in that first half. Well, yeah, fumbled snap here by Lule, a, a bad snap in the gun. And, of course, there's another mistake for right there, kicking it down. What a third down play this was by Berlin. Harrell to prevent a touchdown. That was huge. And then, of course, this. How about a 52-yard field goal for four points in NFL Europa? That was big. Here on NFL Network, you've gotten a chance to see a first half. It's been pretty even in terms of total yards. There was a single turnover. What have we seen so far? Two yeah, teams kind of doing each other out. These stats are almost identical to both teams. And, of course, the score being 4-3, to three, that, that makes sense. Now we've still got second half action coming up on the way. Berlin by a point. We'll be back in the second half in a moment. What you're going to see will shock you beyond belief. Godzilla, Monday at 7, only on FX. Colts fans, your team just won Super Bowl 41. And now, direct from NFL Shop, you can own the Indianapolis Colts Championship tee, hat, and DVD. It's the official championship cap and t-shirt worn during the post-game celebration, plus the Super Bowl 41 DVD. Call 866-NFL-5959 and own a piece of Indianapolis Colts history. Call 866-NFL-5959 or visit NFLShop.com now. Dallas Cowboy Roy Williams covers more ground than just about anyone in the NFL. I'll be right there. But even he can't be there for every child that needs his help. Hey, you're good with kids, aren't you? What about me? Maybe you can give him a hand. Help the NFL and United Way strengthen your community. Volunteer at unitedway.org. Get ready for the draft. Which players are at the top of teams' draft boards? What positions do teams need to fill? Break it all down with exclusive Senior Bowl and Combine footage. Path to the Draft, weeknights at 6.30, only on NFL Network. Just about to begin the third quarter of play with Berlin. On top by a point, Thunder will get the football to start this second half. 
What a beautiful stadium that is. And I'll tell you, here we go. And this is uh, Barclay as the deep guy for the Thunder. Back on his five-yard line. It was expected to be the full-time punt returner getting kickoff duties here as well. And out across the 20, lost his footing. It might have been another one of those slips that was caused by the turf as he tried to change direction. Yeah, no question. You see him looking down at his shoes. Uh, but there you see Cedric Bonner. Uh, right there, the outstanding uh, receiver for the Ryan. He's having fun over there. <laughs> That's a grouping of receivers that don't mind seeing the camera. For the receivers, they always find the cameras, don't they? I mean, that'll never change wherever you're at. <laughs> Travis Lulay, who had a very efficient first half, taking over at his own 21 yard line to start the second. Audible, four wide receivers set. Audible can't be an easy thing in as loud an environment, but they'll get a good positive gain as it is Barclay who gets it out to the 28-yard line. Again, impressed, impressed with Lule the way he throws the ball on the move. I mean, that, that's been the most impressive thing in this uh, game so far to me. Uh, made a nice throw right there, perfect throw. Uh, gave Barclay a chance to make some moves and, and get, again, a positive gain seven yards on that first and ten play. Like you stand, though, asking the fans to make more noise. I'm not sure that's possible without bringing in outside sound equipment. On second down, Barclay. Around that right side, first down yardage out to the 33. Ran that uh, outside zone play right over Mr. Samuel Goodkunst, that big right tackle from Germany. 6'6", 330 pounds, and Barclay, he, he knows where to go. He knows who's going to protect him. All-time rushing leader at Wake Forest, better than 4,000 yards on the ground. 40 rushing touchdowns. Now he's got a quarterback helping to lead the way. He's got his team moving here to start the second half. Barkley is the lone setback. And another try. This time, nothing doing. That is a good job of shutting down a cutback lane from the guy they call Thor, Christian Moore, national player from Germany. And there's from, the other from, national player that he's lined up against. Yeah, this is good. Because watch number 64 right here, the right tackle pull. Now, that's 6'6", 335 pounds. He can move. He's an athlete. Uh, he's really got a future. He's only been playing football four years. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know, he, he was with uh, Baltimore last year on their practice squad all year. Uh, he's got a chance. He's going to play. Wants to be a coach one day when he finishes playing. And little flip. That may not have been so well advised. Hopped in there to make the tackle on Barclay as everything kind of broke down on that play for the Thunder. Well, you know, when things break down like that, you want a quarterback that can make something happen for you. You don't want him to do anything stupid, but watch Lule right here. And again, you see the protection right there by Goodakun's the 64 at right tackle. There's the flip to Barclay. It's good pursuit, good persistence from Ryan Hoffman. It's third down. And the full 10 to go. They got to get it out just shy of the 43. On that delay give, a little bit of room to the outside. But Sharon Edwards, a change of pace back, is going to come up shy of the 40. Six foot uh, 220, Sharon Edwards. He's the team barber, so he's got an important role to fill over there in Europe. That's always a problem over there. I think he's doing the cut there on the quarterback? No question. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to recommend him as a barber. Here you see Mr. Gover so the other side. A barber. <laughs> <laughs> well, the punt now. Tom Malone will kick it away. And Michael Franklin back to take it. The biggest thing that Malone has to do is become more consistent with his drops. He's got a big leg, and that was a bad drop right there. And that was another slip as Franklin was trying to change direction. That may have saved Berlin after a low line drive kick. One way or another, it's going to set the ball up with Ryan when we come back. Good field position for the Fire for their opening drive in the second half.
say that in life, there's only room for one great passion. Unless you're really clever. Viagra. Viagra can help guys with all degrees of erectile dysfunction. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Don't take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects may include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injuries, seek immediate medical help if you experience an erection lasting longer than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease in vision, stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away. Viagra is one of several ED treatments you and your doctor can consider. Ask your doctor if Viagra is right for you. Colts fans, your team just won Super Bowl 41. And now, direct from NFL Shop, you can own the Indianapolis Colts championship tee, hat, and DVD. It's the official championship cap and t-shirt worn during the post-game celebration, plus the Super Bowl 41 DVD. Call 866-NFL-5959 and own a piece of Indianapolis Colts history. Call 866-NFL-5959 or visit NFLShop.com now. Well, get an extra sip of water, not a bad idea, and an unseasonably warm night. Berlin leading it by a point. Richard Coons and his teammates hydrating here as best they can. Yeah, you can see those players now in the third quarter, they look uh, they look pretty whipped already. It's, again, not used to this warm weather uh, at this time of the year in Germany. On the 37-yard line. We haven't seen much of Riggs, and now the fumble with the football. Looks like Ryan's got it. Still fighting for it. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Uh-oh. Who came out of there with it? That was Dumas. See how the officials rule this one. They're saying Ryan first was saying it was down, that Martin had recovered. Oh! Berlin ball. Martin was sure he had that football. Now let's take a look. Here you see the fumble right there. That was stripped by Chris Thompson. Oh, Looks goodness. like he's got it. Just took it right away from him. Oh, it was yeah, nice strip by Thompson right there. And as uh, Yogi used to say, it ain't over till it's over. How much goes on at the bottom of one of those piles? <laughs> wow, he's disappointed in that. He surely had a chance to uh, come up with that fumble. Oh, the lot of desire. Taking the ball back. Here comes Berlin and right in the gut and back out again of Taya. Yeah, that was a three step uh, throw, and that one really should have been caught. No question about that. Go on to the next play. Get it. Okay, as we said, the national player from Mexico. That's his quarterback this week, Travis Lule. Any difficulty in terms of language barrier at all with the speaking Spanish? He said, don't say it. Alejandro Gomez both do a pretty good job with English. Most yeah. of the national players, no matter where they're from, football is taught in American language usually. There's Rhodes. To the outside he goes, and it's going to be a pickup of nearly eight. As he's herded out of bounds by Dada. Yeah, Damian Rhodes out of Syracuse, 5'11", 207. He's kind of the team. Uh oh, that looks like there might be a penalty. Yeah, there is a flag on the play. He's the team comedian. And all the guys really enjoy him, you know, and, and, and as these football teams, you know, they. Number 84, offense, 10 yard penalty, second down. All of these teams have lived together in a hotel with the coaches. I miss 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, you, you get to know each other and take a look at the play right here. But believe me, you get to know each other well. There's a little face mask right there. Pretty good hit on the sideline. That was incidental. The face mask, that is. The holding was not. The holding <laughs> was not, which is why it's a second and 20 on top of your screen. Berlin back now in their own territory. They on play action. Lule firing, and again it is Rhodes who's getting a lot of time and a lot of touches. They basically get back the holding call and two more. 
And you saw how he got up right there, kind of holding his left hamstring. That looks like a cramp uh, to me as he uh, made that stretch. And there you see Larry New, defensive coordinator for the Rhine. Veteran, veteran college coach, his first year in NFL uh, Europa. But boy, he has been uh, all over the place in the college ranks. He's been at Georgia Tech, Virginia, Arkansas. Veteran, veteran coach. Play clock winding down. Ooh, Lule just got that one in. Right before the zero. And firing complete for first down yardage. That again is Carlton Brewster. It'll be a 15-yard gain down the left side. To be a quarterback in the National Football League, the way the game is played now, you have to be able to move in that pocket. And Lule made a great move in the pocket and a good throw on the run. And uh, you just have to have that skill. And a nice, uh, nice catch by Brewster. And Brewster has been impressive in his first game in NFL Europa. Allocated by the Packers. He's got his team on the move now. Just outside the 30-yard line of the fire. lule has got time. Oh, my. Wow. He just laid that one up there for Gomez to get torched from behind. Uh, he, he, uh, Gomez, <laughs> he kind of got laid out. Yeah, but get the ball down. Get the ball down. You don't need an interpreter for that right there. <laughs> All wide receivers know. They, they know clearly when the ball has been thrown too high and they're laid out. And he took a lick right there. Please, hey, senor, get the ball down. Yeah, there's no language barrier at all. Just lower. <laughs> My goodness. Got up from it, though. Boulay's got another try. And this time, a little bit too high on a look-in. <laughs> I, I still don't think Gomez is exactly he's right. He's got a little bit, right? but I'll tell you what, that, that's no fun. <laughs> he's, he's looking at Lulay right there. That's two, that's two now misfires in a row uh, for Travis Lulay right there. Third and ten. Pace has made some plays in this game. He's been impressive. And now you got a whistle. Timeout. And a timeout. Ryan. They're first of the half. Okay. Ryan is going to talk it over. A timeout of the field with 8.17 to go. Berlin trying to add to their one. To a teenager, every obstacle can seem insurmountable. Pittsburgh Steeler Troy Palomalu it's not that hard. Come on. knows that with a little support, they can overcome anything. Let's go, man. But he can't be there for every teen that needs help. You know a few words of encouragement. You can do it. Come on. Maybe you could give him a hand. Help the NFL and United Way strengthen your community. Volunteer at unitedway.org. Count down the NFL's top tens. Debate topics from around the league. Who's the best? Who's the worst? Everybody has an opinion. And here's ours. NFL's top ten, Wednesday at 9, only on NFL Network. I remember it being the second day of draft, watching the pick come up and pass by. Once you finally get the call, the excitement you have, you know you finally get your chance at your dream. The NFL Draft, live on NFL Network. Can't get gas for a buck. You can't even get a cup of coffee for a buck. But you can get million-dollar abs for a buck. Ab Lounge is the new gold standard in abdominal exercise. And now you can try the Ab Lounge XL system for a full 30 days with free shipping and handling on delivery. Not for the usual $14.95, but for just $1. Crunches are obsolete. Ab Lounge XL's jackknife gets you up off the floor, stretching beyond 180 degrees for ultimate results. When people ask me if the Ab Lounge works, I tell them it's amazing. It got rid of my pot belly. If it can do that, it can do anything. Ab Lounge XL is built with club quality features and stores just about anywhere. Call now to try Ab Lounge XL, including Ab Blasting DVD, Healthy Eating Guide, Two Week Jump Start Program, and Aerobic Workout for 30 days for just $1. We know you'll love it, but if you don't, call within the trial period send the system back and have no additional payments. We'll even refund your dollar. You can get this greasy hamburger for a buck. Or you can discover the secret to million dollar abs. I'm John Gruden and you're watching NFL Network. Well, 
Well, the NFL draft is just around the corner. April 28th to 29th, all your coverage. NFL Network, some of the famous names from Ride Fire, NFL Europa that went on and ended up playing and succeeding in the NFL. All that draft coverage, though, coming up just a couple of weeks from now. It'll all be right here on NFL Network. Big play, third and ten. Trying to keep the drive going with a one-point lead. Blitz. Picked up, no. And the pressure forcing a throw to the outside. Looks like Brewster may have come down out of bounds. Yeah, no question about that. And uh, Lule was under heavy, heavy duress. And the blitz was very, very effective right there. Take a look at it here. Take a look at the blitz and the pressure. Well, you know, Damian Rhodes tried to uh, chop him, and that's a no-no. You want to take him up high when those linebackers blitz, and he, was, of course, he had pressure right in his face. Honestly, heck of a throw considering it really the pressure was, that he was the pressure he had. Absolutely. The Hawkins was already hit on a field goal attempt for. Four points from 53 yards away. Huh. I don't know what this penalty is for. Something about the snap of the football? That's what it looks like. Illegal snap. Yep. You Number called 40, it. Offense. Five yards. Fourth down. You know, the biggest thing uh, with this young kicker, uh, Hawkins, is that he's got a big leg. He's just got to become more consistent. I watched him uh, make a 53-yard field goal in training camp in Tampa. He certainly got the leg to make these kicks, no question. Well, it is a powerful leg. It's already hit from better than 50 here on the afternoon, and he's going to go from 55 right now. Good snap. Good kick. He got that wow. with room to spare. Wow. <laughs> it takes a shot right there. A four-point field goal. A four-point field goal, the second of the game. How about that? Eight to three. <laughs> Andrew Hawkins. Wow. What a tremendous afternoon. Two from 50 and beyond. And a five-point lead for the Berlin Thunder. This is it. They kind of make you feel like you're one of the guys, one of the, the big guys. Kickers very rarely get that opportunity. They, they should get a shot once in a while. <laughs> he looks like he's happy with that shot at all. Especially now that he's put his team on top by an 8-3 score here in the third. Some actions of National Football League players touch the lives of millions of people in a single instant. But sometimes their actions touch the lives of a slightly smaller crowd. The National Football League salutes all of its players who make a difference in the community. And we're proud to honor this year's Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award recipients, LaDainian Tomlinson and Drew Brees. Colts fans, your team just won Super Bowl 41. And now, direct from NFL Shop, you can own the Indianapolis Colts Championship tee, hat, and DVD. It's the official championship cap and t-shirt worn during the post-game celebration, plus the Super Bowl 41 DVD. Call 866-NFL-5959 and own a piece of Indianapolis Colts history. Call 866-NFL-5959 or visit NFLShop.com now. What's up? Nothing. Check this out. Is that what you call a chair in Minnesota? <laughs> it's game time. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get the widest selection of your favorite team's gear at NFLShop.com. I want that! NFLShop.com. Well, how about that? Two of two along of 55 yards. What that may not tell you is the other one was 53 yards. So he is responsible right now for all of the scoring in what is an 8-3 to three Berlin lead. Two four-point field goals. 
Well, I promise you, the happiest guy of the day is the special teams coach for the Green Bay Packers because they have his uh, rights. He's allocated by them, and, and they'll be enjoying this. It's funny. The first Berlin game I ever saw was in Barcelona, and I watched a young kicker who told his coach, let me try in practice and warm-ups from 50, 55, 60, and 65. I'll tell you where I can hit from. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he hit from beyond 50 in that game. Turned out the guy was David Akers. Yeah, not bad. Of course, Adam Venetieri has played in NFL Europe as Europa as well. There's a good hit on the kickoff right there. Sean Smith, national player from England. And Berlin now trying to protect what is a five-point lead. You know, last year in the National Football League, 153 players that have been through NFL Europa were active in the National Football League. And take a look at that. Wow, that's a pretty good shot. Uh, 216 were active if you included all the players that were also on the practice squad. So, uh, you know, from Kurt Warner uh, all the way, I mean, it's unbelievable the amount of players uh, that really got their experience in Europe. The beauty part is this helps feed the NFL and these players, but it also gives an experience to the fans in Europe, especially in Germany now. That is just almost unrivaled. It's a different kind of an atmosphere from them, from soccer or you know what is called football there. But it's something that they, especially in certain cities. Well, wait a minute, there we, somebody dancing with the stars over there. <laughs> that is uh, Jasper oh, Harvey, the yeah. center. The receiver can reset, can lift up and reset. That's First exactly down. right. Good call. You know, 120 NFL officials have. They've got their feet wet in NFL uh, Europe as well. Here you see, yeah, he is allowed to uh, to reset right there. There's a lot of jumping and moving going on. Now, fortunately, called correctly. So you're first and ten from the 30. Yeah, the outside. Franklin's got absolutely nowhere to go. Etrick Pruitt coming up to make the hit for a loss. Uh, Etrick Pruitt, a uh, young guy out of southern Mississippi, and uh, he was actually active last year with the Detroit Lions for nine games. I mean, he's had, uh, he's, he's just trying, like everybody, he's over here trying to get better. Look at this fill that he makes right there. 35, Etrick Pruitt, uh, southern Miss. I did some of his games in college. He is a good, solid, solid safety. So many of these young men, as you said, trying to get better. So many of the guys we talked to this week simply talking about the fact that they want an opportunity to sh not only show what they can do, but if you've got training camp, you might get into one game or a couple of quarters here or there. Here you've got 10 full games to show everybody what you can do. And the enthusiasm in Europe, as you can see right here at Ryan, and, and when you see a Ryan uh, Frankfurt game, uh, that rivalry is unmatched. Uh, absolutely louder than any game I've been to in the National Football League. I mean, it's incredible. And, uh, and they know their football. And of course, now with the NFL playing a regular season game in London this year, Miami and New England in October, that's going to be fun. You know what? We might be having another cramp on our hands here. Yeah, and I'll tell you, as warm as, as it is, and uh, you look at the, you saw that we just saw a shot of the players on the sideline. There is, uh, they're losing a lot of fluids as this game goes on. And uh, we're starting to see cramping, and you're probably going to see more of it. Here, take a look at it. Watch, uh, watch him right here. Bryant Shaw right here. Oh, oh, right there. He is tied up. You can see it right there. He is totally tied up, and that's a cramp. And uh, they, they, they got to get more fluids into these guys as the game goes on. Yeah, it looks like he's cramping in both hamstrings as he comes off the field right there. Yeah. That is painful. Ryan Shaw, I got to tell you, 315 pounds. It's a lot of body to be carrying on two stiff legs right now. And largely it's because, as we said, the cramps, because of the warm temperatures. And also, Coach, at the same time, I guess you got to look at it as, while they condition themselves in Tampa in training camp, these guys aren't actually in full game condition, maybe for a week or two yet. No, no exactly right. And, you know, I, I misspoke a moment ago. That game uh, that's going to be in London is, uh, is the Giants uh, in Miami. That's going to be an How unbelievable about that? A regular atmosphere. season game over in London. You just don't think they're too fired up about that. Cody Pickett back on the field. Four out of eight playing in the first quarter in this one. Has a lot of time. 
And an open man. Well, he put that right on the money because really that that was very well covered by Chris Thompson. And uh, Cedric made a good catch there. You see Bryant Shaw trying to walk off those cramps in his hamstrings, and that is very, very painful. And you see the Gatorade bottle there. He's going to have to keep putting fluid in that body. So a third down and 10. They've got to get it just outside the 40 yard line. Movement. Might have a free play. Did he even need it? P.K. Sam with the catch out near the first down marker. We'll see about the flag. That's why everybody likes those big 6-3 receivers and above like P.K. Sam to run those slants. Big bodies in there. Uh, very, very difficult to stop on those slant routes. P.K. Sam allocated by the Dolphins. Acclimating himself to life in Europe said, thank goodness for my space calling cards <laughs> and he learned this week that fast food restaurants there they put jalapenos on chicken sandwiches <laughs> you got to make the adjustments you got to be flexible that's what I always <laughs> used to tell the players you know and, and really uh, the Miami's wide receiver coach will listen for the call offside defense number 96 five yards third down Miami's the wide receiver coach, veteran coach Terry Rabisky, really encouraged uh, P.K. Sam to come over to Europe and improve his skills, and it lo really looks like he's doing it. Take, Take a look, look here. at it right yep. here. No question about that. No question. Good call. That's Cortez Vickerson who came on when Shaw left the field, so a timing issue, no doubt. Third down at five. First down at ten. Lauren Williams skipping out of bounds with the catch. And Wright's got first down yardage. Now it'll be inter interesting to see the rotation at quarterback here in the second half uh, for Ryan. Cody Pickett here, uh, you know, in the third quarter so far. And he's made some plays. Both of their quarterbacks have made some plays, and both of them have been a little bit inconsistent. There's that big receiver, P.K. Sand. Good looking young athlete. Bet. Keep pouring it down. From the 44, play action. And up on top. Oh! Sam went up, thought he had an opportunity, it got taken away from him by Josh Lay. Yeah, and that was after Pruitt that also kind of sandwiched uh, PK right there. But there you see uh, Josh Lay coming back. He is uh, allocated from the Rams. Uh, good looking corner, 6'1, 197, good size. Take a look at this here. This is uh, the free safety coming over man to man. That's cover one right there. Nice play by Lay right up over the top. Really timed it well. Got his right hand in on the football. That's good route. Good throw. Better defensive play. Absolutely. So second down. And Franklin will try the left side. Get it out to the 48 yard line. We're under five minutes to play here in the third quarter. Boy, and I'll tell you, uh, Berlin is really doing a nice job of getting to the football. That's a well-coached defense. Uh, Adrian White is the coordinator, but Daryl Sims, the defensive line coach, uh, has coached in the NFL, played in the NFL, first-round draft choice out of Wisconsin way back when I was there. Kurt Devea, veteran NFL linebacker with the Redskins and I think Eagles. Uh, these guys are fortunate to have a, a veterans like that uh, coaching them. They really know the game. Timing play, and it's not there. Pick it. Look at that. What a move. First down yardage, or it should be, as he stretches ahead, but that is not a quarterback move right there. That's the Cowboy out on the run. There you go. And that's, that's, again, that classic case of making something happen when nothing's there. Take a look at Cody right here. Of course, he's hoping to have a great season in NFL uh, Europa, and of course, he's hoping for a bidding war at the end of that season because he's a free agent. And there's no question uh, somebody will pick him up and bring him into camp. Uh, always there's late signings for quarterbacks, and if he does well uh, over here in, uh, in Dusseldorf, he'll be there. That's a play that everybody who's watching is going to notice. That's a good throw as well as he found the timing route to the inside, and Bonner hooks up to get it down to about the 38. Listen to the track record here on Cedric Bonner. 
He's been at Buffalo. He's played at Buffalo. He's been with the Raiders. He's been with Atlanta. He's been with the Redskins. He's allocated by the Redskins. Uh, he's had injury problems, uh, different things. He's uh, married, has two little boys. Uh, his wife is. His wife says the two boys, four and one, are driving her crazy. She's, she wants them home. <laughs> She's coming for a visit, leaving the kids home later. She's going to actually bring them on the plane trip to Europe. That'll be an interesting trip. <laughs> We've been talking so much about the coaches. There's the offensive coordinator for the ride. Fire his first season here, Don Eck. Yeah, veteran uh, NFL Europa coach, uh, longtime line coach at Utah. Terrific, terrific offensive line coach, offensive coordinator. He works with Gary Tranquil. On that staff, uh, and, and they really, between the two of them, put that offense together. Gary Tranquil coaches QBs and wide receivers, another veteran, veteran college coach. Take note of the clock running, incomplete passes. Clock continues to run at NFL Europa, except for the final two minutes of the first half and the final five minutes of the second half. So after they get the ball set back again, there goes the clock. And again, you know, they will use the NFL uh, Europa uh, to evaluate different rule changes, look at different things. There you see Coach Eck uh, looking on. There's the signal in there. Looks like there's a little bit of confusion here someplace. Let's see if they can get this off. Yep. Uh, well, they, are they punting or are they? Is wow, it, what is this? It's punt formation. And a quarterback throwing. <laughs> and first down yardage. Wow. Franklin comes up with a first down, down to the 31. Well, I'll tell you what, they definitely tricked him right here because you put your punter on the field. That's what everybody looks for. That means you get your punt return team on the field. That was the reason for that confusion on that play right there. Uh, that, that was a nice job by Ryan. Take a look at it. That's the punter back there, that's the quarterback under center. That's Franklin running the outcut, knows what he needs for the first down. They got it. Advance the football. I wasn't sure they were going to get Berlin, but they got us. And Franklin stood up after Boy. a pickup of just about nothing, maybe a gain of about a yard. That was a lick right there. I think that was Etrick Pruitt was. Etrick Pruitt again coming up from that safety spot. And uh, Coach Lance really likes this Franklin kid. He really, he's got great speed. Take a look at it again. There it is, just the outcut for the key first down right there. I don't know that I've ever seen a play with the actual starting quarterback and the puncher on the field at the same time. Uh, you know, I, I've seen it before, but not in that formation. Usually they put the punter out as a wide receiver. Chance to go up top for the lead. And as the ball is flicked away, Thompson is going to get called for pass interference. Yeah, and I think this is a very, very good call. Thompson was all over him, all over his back. Uh, that was Williams, the wide receiver right there that was... Uh, pass interference, defense. Yeah. No question about that call. Clock uh, near the end of the third quarter. Take a look at it. Now, you can make the call. Interference. Oh, no question. A lot of contact. Is back, yep. A lot of contact. There it is again. Nice job with his left hand playing the football, but it was the contact before that that they got him on. So what that's going to do is open the door to a first and goal for Ryan now to try to take the lead in the game. And a great penetration into the backfield. He's going to bring up a loss. Patrick Finke, the national player from Germany, with the stop. We got a flag on the play. Illegal shift, offense, five yards, first down. Yeah, good call. They had two guys moving at the same time in that shift. Uh, so, and they, they spotted it. It was a nice job by the officials. Yeah, and, and Finke, number 92. Is the he, he is uh, from Berlin? He played at Ryan last year, so he's happy to get back to Berlin so his family can see him play. They'll be able to do that next week. They weren't making the trip to Dusseldorf this week. They let the clock run after the penalty. That is the end of the third quarter. So as the officials say, that will do it for quarter number three. But the home team trying to go in and take the lead with one more quarter to go here in the NFL Europa season opener.
It is Berlin with two four-point field goals on top by five. The New Orleans Saints select Reggie Bush, running back, USC. Can anybody catch him? I don't think so. Reggie Bush dives with the pylon. Touchdown. All across the country, fans have made NFL Network one of the fastest growing networks in television history. So when you want access to the National Football League, connect to the place where football season never ends. He lives as one of them. He eats, speaks, and behaves just as they do. He knows their language and is using it to teach them how to be wild. A Man Among Wolves premieres Monday at 9 on Channel 276. The National Geographic Channel. Dare to explore. There's a new Land Rover, the all-new Land Rover LR2. This is NFL Network Now. I'm Matt Smith. Friday night, Titans cornerback Pac-Man Jones told an ESPN reporter he plans to appeal his year-long suspension handed down Monday by Commissioner Roger Goodell. Jones said, quote, I expected the suspension, but for a whole year, for a guy that hasn't been charged with nothing, I'm going to appeal it. Some think Brian Westbrook was underpaid for the performance he delivered last season, helping the Eagles to a playoff appearance. Turns out he was overpaid, literally, thanks to an accounting error on the side of the Eagles. His $3 million signing bonus was paid twice. The Eagles have filed a grievance with the league as the money has yet to be returned. Taking a look at the NFL Europa scoreboard, former UCLA standout Drew Olsen threw for 260 yards and two touchdowns, but his Amsterdam Admirals lost at Frankfurt 30-14. Kansas City Chiefs running back Derek Ross rushed for 119 yards and a touchdown in the 24-18 Cologne victory over Hamburg. This is NFL Network Now. All started. Dusseldorf. Just a absolutely happen in place, I guess is the best way to put it. Kind of the center of everything in Dusseldorf. It's certainly a city that a lot of folks have fun being around as part of the NFL Europa experience. A very sophisticated city. Ryan try to go in as we start the fourth quarter. Opportunity. And a pass down low. Oh, he picked it off. Wow. Jamil Dumas picked it off as the ball was about to hit the top of the grass. A diving pickoff on the first play of the fourth quarter. Amazing. What a turnaround play that is, though. You talk about a big play in a football game, Ryan. Uh, getting ready to move in for a score. And that let's take a look at it now right here. Ball off the wide receiver, up into the air. Ooh. That was Torian Henderson. Wow, that was that was close. Now there's no replay in NFL Europa, so the officials make the calls on the field, and that one's going to stand. It was hard to tell because Walter Curry was kind of in the way of our camera shot. One way or another, though, the ball is going back to Berlin. Is there? Buried back in their own end, but they've got the football back, and they just dodged a big bullet. They sure did. Trying to run their way out. Just trying to get some operating room right here. Now there's a little bit of extra curricular going on. The guys are getting just a little bit excited there. Come on, just relax. Talk back over the course of the time that we've been talking this week and here again today. This was an experience you really enjoyed being at NFL Europe. Oh, I loved I, I loved every minute of it. It was, uh, I, you know, it was kind of like going back to your roots as a coach. You really felt like you were trying to help guys get better and develop and, uh, and have a chance to have success. And the fans are awesome in Europe. Firing a seed to the near side and Carlton Brewster sitting down with a catch across the 12. He's New York. Everybody back on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a Syracuse guy talking about New York. Yeah. <laughs> nice looking young man. It was not only made a spectacular interception, now I've got a chance to tell you about it. That is a potentially game saving play. Or it certainly saved the lead. Now, third down and one. They've got to get it just shy of the 14 yard line. They're throwing. And complete again for first down yardage. Out across the 20 to the 24 yard line again, it is Carlton Brewster. Boy, and he really continues to impress as we go through this football game. He is explosive. He's fun to watch. He's strong. You can tell. Watch him right here. You can tell he's got good strength, knows what to do with the football. Again, uh, you know, he, he was involved with the trade. He was originally with Cleveland, traded to Green Bay, and uh, then was on the Green Bay practice squad all year. Key first down for Berlin right there. That'll keep the clock rolling. Still a little early to think about clock. But this has been a possession by possession kind of game. A throw back across the middle and out to the 25 yard line for Barclay. Pick up of about a yard. There you see Bruce Eugene, who is the backup quarterback for the Thunder from Grambling. Uh, he was with Frankfurt in training camp. Omar Jacobs, who was the backup quarterback at Berlin, was hurt uh, about the last week of training camp, had an ankle injury. He's rehabbing. So uh, Bruce Eugene right now is the backup quarterback. 6-1-248. You can see why they call him the Big Easy. Yeah, and, and I watched him in training camp in Tampa as well. He's got a gun. He really has a strong, Start. strong arm. Offense, number 53, five yards, second down. Well, a false start. We'll move it back five and turn it into a second down at 14. Take a look at it right here. Let's see who the guilty party was. Rob Hunt just yep. came up a little bit out of the stance. It's a good play on the defensive side by Brennan Schmidt. Absolutely. Got to react to it. If it's an immediate reaction, uh, of course, you know, you're, you're drawn off sides. Have a delay give this time. Barclay's got a little bit of room. Well, he's fun to watch. He really, he glides. He's got great vision. He's got a burst. He's really fun to watch. You can see why he was so productive at Wake Forest. And we talked to him the other day, and he was so excited for the season that Wake Forest had last year. He said he was very, very proud. I don't blame him. Oh, absolutely. Ran the draw here. This is against uh, cover two. Nice block there by the uh, slot receiver. That was Marvin Allen. Good job advancing the football. Why the play clock down again? Whoa. Get another play away, but this time, a lot of red jerseys in the Berlin backfield. That's the one thing that kills the running game penetration, and Ryan certainly had it that time in their one gap defense. They got great penetration. Take a look at it here. You see the red jerseys across the line of scrimmage right there. Uh, no place to go. No place to go. Brennan Schmidt, whose dad played football. Notre Dame and Southern Cal, from what I understand. It's an odd combination. It is a very odd combination. You're right, that him, that's for sure. With some time, a little late down the middle. And a Receiver, Usinski, out across the 40. Well, that was cover two, and that's exactly where you want your quarterback to go with the football against cover two, work those underneath routes, especially having an 8-3 to three lead like this, like they do. They play cover two, work those underneath routes and try to advance the football and get those first downs and run the clock. Joining us late, an 8-3 to three score comes courtesy of two NFL Europa specials. There will be two field goals of 50 plus yards. They count for four points apiece. A little confusion here getting lined up. Well, it's Good the first job. time all day that Lule has had to stop the clock with the play clock running down on him. Yep. One of the wide receivers uh, uh, misunderstood the formation and missed the line. There you see John Allen says, get over here. Let's get this straight right now. That is an unhappy coach making a debut, but he's got to be happy with the lead. So they will talk it over. 
So we wind it down with under 10 minutes to play in Dusseldorf. Berlin trying to get a win for a first time head coach. Colts fans, your team just won Super Bowl 41. And now, direct from NFL Shop, you can own the Indianapolis Colts Championship tee, hat, and DVD. It's the official championship cap and t-shirt worn during the post-game celebration, plus the Super Bowl 41 DVD. Call 866-NFL-5959 and own a piece of Indianapolis Colts history. Call 866-NFL-5959 or visit NFLShop.com now. Some actions of National Football League players touch the lives of millions of people in a single instant. But sometimes their actions touch the lives of a slightly smaller crowd. The National Football League salutes all of its players who make a difference in the community. And we're proud to honor this year's Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award recipients, LaDainian Tomlinson and Drew Brees. to move. That's so not the question. So what is the question? Whose move is it? That's not the question. See any good moves lately? Keep trying. The question is, what moves? These moves? These moves? Get up, get out, find a way every day. Swim, jump, run, do. The question is, what moves you? 67 was a very, very tough year for Coach Lombardi, and you can literally see him age as the months pass. America's Game. Eight to three, Berlin on top. 9.37 to go in Dusseldorf. In the NFL Europe opener, there's Don Lawrence, the offensive coordinator, first year with the Berlin Thunder. Yeah, I was my offensive line coach in Frankfurt, but before that, 18 years in the National Football League as a line coach, and those offensive linemen at Berlin are lucky to have him. He is a great teacher and a great man. Offensive linemen at Berlin have done a pretty good job today. They've done a real good job today. Got to come up big here, third down and three. Firing. And first down yardage, but the ball pops out. The question is, was it a completed pass? No. They Incomplete. say that Alex Shore I didn't hang on. Totally agree with the call. Totally agree with that call. He definitely did not have a possession uh, long enough to be ruled a completion. Did not make uh, really have a chance to make a good football move. Nice throw right there. Good hit right there. Boy, hat right on the football. Good play by the Ryan defense. Nice job of getting to the football. That's what zone defense is all about. You see Koontz was on his way over to clean it up as well. And uh, that was Carlos Hendricks who made that hit. Well, the Ryan fire will get the football back. Some of those early jitters that we saw in the special teams have kind of melted away here. And Franklin will make that fair catch at his own 10 yard line. Excellent, excellent punt by Malone right there. You see him coming off number one. Excellent punt by Malone. He got him right down inside the 10 yard. Good hang time. No chance to have a return. Chris Thompson out of Nichols State was the number one draft choice in the free agent draft for the Berlin Thunder this year. Now it's up to the defense. They've done a superb job all day today. Now Adrian White, the defensive coordinator, has to be proud of this defense. They have played hard all day, have run to the football very well, made a lot of good hits. And Brett Elliott back for the fourth quarter as the quarterback flip flop continues. And good yardage for a first down out across the 20 to the 23. Guess who? Cedric Bonner is having a big day. You don't want to let that guy get loose on you. Not with that 4 2 7 speed. He can fly. And there you see Coach Allen will continue. Coaching process, working with his young quarterback. He's got to be happy with Travis Lule today. He really is. Uh, he's been very calm. He's done a nice job of managing the game. Good audibles. So cutback running and a flag came from the other side of your screen as Riggs went up the left side. This could be holding, but flag came from a funny spot. Well, yeah. Holding, number 76, offense. 
10 yards. First down. Yeah, it really does look like a funny spot, but you know, and we talked about it earlier. I, I really <laughs> doesn't agree with the call, uh, Washington. Does. But I really like this experiment by the NFL of putting the umpire behind the offense. Uh, uh, here you can see, look at that. No umpire in the way. Uh, it drives defenses crazy. They're always bumping into the umpire. And here you see the call coming all the way. From, he can see holding from the uh, behind the offense just as well. I really hope the NFL uh, likes that experiment after this season and puts it into the NFL. Well, the holding penalty sets him back. And now it is Elliott. And the yardage out to the 20. It is Sam once again. You know, in, in every tape of these games uh, next week uh, throughout the National Football League, uh, they get a copy of this tape on Monday. And uh, every pro scouting department and coaches will be looking to see how their guys did and also looking to see how some of these free agents did there. It's a constant evaluation process. As we said it does mean a lot. These players to the NFL teams and as you can hear around you right now this will it means a lot to the fans too. Oh boy I'll tell you this uh, extremely intense fans the Amsterdam uh, Fans have really, uh, really come on big. Frankfurt is great. And now, you spent time as the coach in Frankfurt, so you know how loud that place can yep. be. And of course, you, you know how loud Dusseldorf could be. You get that roof closed in Amsterdam, and you get oh. all the noise and the air horns and those those other kazoo those kazoos like, oh, yeah. or whatever it is. Oh. They, they blow the whole game. Uh, Unbelievable. You, you can't hear yourself think in that stadium, especially when they close the roof up top. You're right. Dumas will find that out. They'll be there soon. He doesn't strike me as a guy who shies back from things that are loud. Not after no, his... I, I don't think so. Yeah. Right before the play clock expires, a little bit of time. The throw behind, and it's incomplete. P.K. Sam had to reach just behind, and that lost him an opportunity to come up with a completion and probably a first down. Yeah, that allowed Dennis Davis uh, the nickel back. Watch right here. The ball is thrown behind him. He has to reach back. That allows Davis an opportunity to get his hands in, and, and he makes the most of that opportunity. That was a big, big play for that Berlin defense. And as a quarterback, that's why you have to put the ball right on the money. You've got to hit these receivers in stride so things like that don't happen. So an opportunity now. You get the football back for Berlin. You got six and a half to go in the game. They'd like to make some progress here. They'd also like to burn some clock. A fair catch for Chris Barkley. Start him off in pretty good field position, just shy of their own 32 yard line. Time winding down. Just that far from a catch and a potential first down. Berlin gets it when we come back. Pressure. Enemy of engines. Enemy of pressure, Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic with adaptive molecules that continually join forces to help conquer pressure. Colts fans, your team just won Super Bowl 41. And now, direct from NFL Shop, you can own the Indianapolis Colts Championship tee, hat, and DVD. It's the official championship cap and t-shirt worn during the post-game celebration, plus the Super Bowl 41 DVD. Call 866-NFL-5959 and own a piece of Indianapolis Colts history. Call 866-NFL-5959 or visit NFLShop.com now. Dallas Cowboy Roy Williams covers more ground than just about anyone in the NFL. I'll be right there. But even he can't be there for every child that needs his help. Hey, you're good with kids, aren't you? What about me? Maybe you can give him a hand. Help the NFL and United Way strengthen your community. Volunteer at unitedway.org. We knew in that huddle there was a group destined to apply the kind of pressure.
Here are the words the New York Times uses to describe smoking aces. Blam, blam, blam. Expletive, expletive, plot twist. FBI, expletive, blam, blam, blam. Roll credits, smoking aces. On DVD and HD DVD Tuesday. What's up? Nothing. Check this out. Is that what you call a chair in Minnesota? It's <laughs> game time. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Get the widest selection of your favorite team's gear at NFLShop.com. I want that! NFLShop.com. Dusseldorf, Germany is the spot. The Berlin Thunder and Ryan Fire, week one of 2007, 2007 NFL Europa play. Scott Graber, Doug Graber, glad to be here with you. And <laughs> glad to get some great suggestions as to what Halloween could look like. <laughs> that is the fire right that there, buddy. That is the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They do take it seriously. Oh, boy. They love it, I'm telling you, and they know the game. And right now, they know their defense is going to need to stop here. Well, they're going to try to string some first downs together and burn some time with a five-point lead. It is Barkley. He'll make it out to about the 37. Now that, that's a very positive way. That's a good, uh, a good way to start this drive, and the clock is running. And now Barkley's down, and, and he looks like he might be cramping. Oh, boy. Yep, that's exactly it. He's... he's Reaching to his toes, his calves are cramping. He's trying to get him to, to pull his toes back. And boy, that hurts. Golly, that hurts. See, right there. Pull that toe back and try to work that cramp out. We take a look at John Allen, as we said, all that time as a coach. Plenty of time at NFL Europe in terms of being an assistant coach, but a first opportunity to be a head coach here in this one tonight. And, uh, you know, very, very experienced as a college assistant coach and worked his way up the rank, played at James Madison uh, himself. And uh, I'll tell you, I, I, I watched his team practice a lot in Tampa. He's got a great coaching staff with him. He uses them. Uh, he's very, very organized, uh, very good down on the players now. I mean, which you have to be able to do. You've got to be able to put the hammer down, and he can do that. But he does it in a nice way. And uh, he, he's got a bright future. But NFL Europa, if you've got a quarterback who can manage a game, it looks like he's got one. Travis Lule, and you got a couple of guys who can make plays. You got a chance to have yourself a special season before it's all done. Now, you don't think they take it serious. You can see right there the Ryan Fire fans, uh, they're, they're a little bit disappointed. 30,355. They did not get their own personal record at Dusseldorf for an opening day but more than respectable and loud crowd for the opener. Yeah and, and they will get crowds uh, upwards of 50,000 45,000 when they play Frankfurt uh, at Ryan I'll guarantee you that'll be a big crowd. Uh, the NFL Europe crowd uh, was when I was at Frankfurt and we played uh, Ryan and we had 58,000 and it was uh, that stadium only sat 50 at that time, so it was a pretty wild scene that night. And here you see Chris coming off. Both of his calves are totally cramping. You can see that. Well, you saw it coming a little bit earlier in the game as things got warmer, and a couple of guys go down that way now. So Damian Rhodes, who's gotten a lot of time, Sharon Edwards will be the choices. You see Edwards is in the ball game now. And Berlin burn clock if they can. And take note, the clock started again anyway after they got the injured player off the field. Yep. He's letting that play clock run right down. And to the outside, good job of staying in bounds. Carlton Brewster, that's going to be his gut to do that, even though had he gone out of bounds, they would have started the clock once again anyway. But it's a third down and two. This becomes a... A critical play, I think, for the Ryan defense. Absolutely. Third and two, and, and you called it, but that was huge right there by Carlton Brewster to have enough uh, sense. Uh, he, he knew he wasn't going to get a lot of yards to, to get himself down, keep the clock running. That's the key issue right now. You're going to be under five right here. You give up a first down, you could be under three. 
Beautiful. He's let the clock run all the way down to one second. Now here comes the scrambling movement. Flagged down on the play. And Lillet is broken free. Can they catch him? No. All the way into the end zone for a touchdown. And we'll see about the flag. 4, 6, 8, 40. He showed it right there. He's got a great feel for the game. Boy, this is going to be a crucial call right in here on the flag, though. That looked like it could have been thrown a legal block. Number 26. No, it's illegal contact. A 61 wow. yard wow. touchdown. Boy, John Allen, see, we're going for one. Nice job, Travis Lule. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. Let's take a look and let's see if we can see the penalty. I didn't see it right there. There had to have been it's contact already, someplace. Yep. Just out of the screen and Lule showing good speed. Good excellent presence of mind. mind. Excellent awareness in the open field. Nice ball fake. Nice the inside move right there in that little burst right there. That was the key to this touchdown. Yep. That man making his first start since November of 2005 back in college. And right now he's got a 12 point lead. He's four and a half minutes away from his first win as a professional starter. 61 yards, quarterback goes to the house. And the Berlin lead is now 15 to three. The NFL and United Way know the only cure for a natural disaster is a human response. Help the NFL and United Way rebuild communities. Find out how at unitedway.org. Are our SUVs as much fun as our bikes? You think you can handle it? Can you? Introducing the all-new Suzuki XL7 mid-size crossover SUV. It's going to be a great ride. Get 0% financing with no payments till July. Colts fans, your team just won Super Bowl 41. And now, direct from NFL Shop, you can own the Indianapolis Colts championship tee, hat, and DVD. It's the official championship cap and t-shirt worn during the post-game celebration, plus the Super Bowl 41 DVD. Call 866-NFL-5959 and own a piece of Indianapolis Colts history. Call 866-NFL-5959 or visit NFLShop.com now. To move or not to move? That's so not the question. So what is the question? Whose move is it? That's not the question. See any good moves lately? Keep trying. The question is, what moves? These moves? These moves? Get up, get out, find a way. Every day, swim, jump, run, do. The question is, what moves you? I was at my home in Pampa, Texas. Uh, for the first day, I didn't even watch it because I knew I wasn't gonna be a first, second rounder. Jimmy Johnson had called the house and my sister answered the phone. I just remember her screaming, so. I think there was 20-something other linebackers that went ahead of me and I, maybe three that went ahead of me, like Ray Lewis, and they're still playing, so I got the best end of it. The NFL Draft, live on NFL Network. Relive the 2006 NFL season on NFL Replay. The four best games from each week re-aired every Sunday afternoon. NFL Replay, tomorrow starting at 1, only on NFL Network. Hi, I'm Andy Reid, and you're watching NFL Network. Taking it off, the Berlin Thunder. The lead is now 12, and time is running short. On the ride, fire here in the opener. Yeah, they're going to have to make something, uh, something happen fast to get back in this ball game now. Travis Lule with a 61-yard run. That's any quarterback's dream. But it also came on really a critical play. He's got 74 yards on the ground today. That was kind of a do-or-die play for the defense for Ryan to get a stop. As it turned out, they didn't, not only didn't get a stop, they gave up a score. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, uh, you know that was a, that was a crucial a third and two situation on the scramble. And of course, uh, that really, really puts the Berlin Thunder in pretty good shape right now. 
Brad Elliott has had kind of some up and down moments here in his first game playing in the second and fourth quarter for Ryan. Chance now to try to bring his team back. Pressure from the outside. And he never saw it coming looking the other way as Walter Curry wraps him up. Well, you think these guys aren't excited. I tell you, I, I love this enthusiasm and the way this team was playing tough. And Coach Allen and, and uh, Daryl Sims, the defensive line coach, really has to be pleased right there. Ball was fumbled. I tell the truth. What is it that goes on in the bottom of those scrambles when the ball yeah, gets loose? rough? Let's take a look at it right here. Take a look at Walter Curry right here now from uh, from down below to the right part of the screen. Comes right in there with that right hand. That's a great strip. That's exactly the way all defensive line coaches teach it. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be as a pass goes incomplete. Looked like it could have been an easy recovery for the Berlin Thunder. So the moral of the story is don't always believe what you see first with the football in one of those piles. Absolutely. Uh, uh, things can change fast. Things could change for him, too. He was with the Ryan Fire last year. Now he's pounding his chest in the Berlin Thunder uniform back in the same stadium. Well, I tell you, the Berlin Thunder, they play in the Olympic Stadium that Jesse owns in 1936. Got the four goal. I mean, what a what a great stadium that is. And I mean, you talk about history and tradition. Wow. The home of the World Cup final last summer. Well, it's a great, great throw. throw right on the money. It was Marvin Allen with a big first down to keep it alive now for Ryan. They are in a spot where they need two scores. They needed that first. Marvin Allen uh, is uh, from England. He was on the Pittsburgh practice squad with the Steelers all of last year. Time getting short. Coming up on 3.20 left to go. Take it off and running with pressure there. And escape Vickerson, who comes up to make the hit and drop Elliott. You know, Travis uh, Lula, you know, he, he's got a wedding coming up in July. So, <laughs> so I, I know that uh, he said he didn't know if his fiance was going to be coming over. A little detail of planning a wedding. That's a great throw. Did he get the catch? Oh, he did. That's Marvin Allen again, the slot receiver, and that was a terrific throw by Brett Allen. He's Holy made some good throws in this game. And it's coming back. Ten yards. There goes the head down. You know what that means. That super throw and catch negated by a holding call. That'll take the wind out of your sails right there because Ryan was moving the football, and as we said, with 2.45 to go, they need more than one score to get back in this. Again, with the noise in the stadium, you can see he's having a little bit of trouble here in the, the signals. And holding penalties, uh, you know, I always give the defense credit for holding penalties because that means that usually somebody is beating one of the defensive guys is beating one of the offensive guys. That's normally what happens. Better to hold and get your quarterback blown up? That's exactly right. That's what the again, quarterback with thinks, the right? umpire right there. You see the umpire backing up behind the offense. I really think they can see it just as well. Right across the middle and wide open. Not going to make up for the highlight film catch from a moment ago, but Lauren Williams will take it. Third outstanding uh, throw in a row for Brett Elliott. Allocated by San Diego, played at the tiny Linfield College in Oregon, 2,000 students. Do nothing but winning while he was there. Oh, he got hit. And airmailed the ball right over the back of his own bench. I can see on that last play, there you see Adrian White, the defensive coordinator for Ryan, safety for the Giants. Uh, that whole defensive staff are all NFL veteran players for this Berlin Thunder team. Now, we talked to Adrian earlier in the week, and you were talking about some of the things that he was doing. He wasn't <laughs> giving up a lot to you. No, Adrian was pretty uh, closed mouth. Would that be a fair statement? Yeah, it's a pretty fair I statement. I was kind of hurt because we go back. We've been friends for a long time. I said, come on, Adrian, give it up. What are you doing? Nope. 
I'll tell you, coaches aren't real uh, trusty, that's for sure. Whatever he did, it works. <laughs> and with 2.07 to go, that is probably the last opportunity for Ryan to get back. Because now the ball will go back over to Berlin. There's a two minute warning, then they got to stop the clock. But there's your congratulations for a defensive coordinator. That was the, the first guy in there with Big Darrell Sims, the defensive line coach. There's Kurt Kamea, the linebacker coach. Benton Hall, the middle backer. Everybody's happy for Adrian. He's a heck of a guy. Good guy. I got to tell you. That first victory could be so, so important just to the mindset of a team going through the 10-game season there. And I mean, just for the simple purpose of getting back on a train and going back to Berlin is going to feel an awful lot better after this. Yeah, this team will stay in Dusseldorf uh, now tonight, and they'll take that early train in the morning uh, back to Berlin. The players love traveling by train in Europe. They absolutely love it. They can get up, walk around. They can play cards. They can look at the landscape. There you see Coach Allen. He's got to be fired up. Got to be fired up. The stomach has to have settled down by now. A two-minute warning now. We talked to, we said, a number of the guys. Although the funny part was, Kavale Sape, who was born in American Samoa, we were talking about those train trips. He said, you know, I'm from the island. I'm always on a bus ride or I ride in a canoe. <laughs> See, I, I'm not used to this whole train thing yet, but yeah, we'll give it a shot. Well, you know, I tell you, speaking uh, from experience, that uh, traveling with a football team uh, through Europe, the train is the only way to go. The guys love it, and, and you kill two birds because, you know, I always wanted my guys to enjoy Europe, see some of the different sites. There you see uh, Kurt Van and Adrian White talking right there. And, of course, uh, very, very shortly, their minds will be on Hamburg, who they play next week at the Olympic Stadium in Berlin, as will John Allen's mind. Well, it, once again, it's a balance. You're trying to help the players you're with. You're trying to give them an opportunity to showcase their skills. You're trying to win games. You're trying to... You know, you're talking to this entire staff. Everybody kind of got there, was there for the course of a couple of days, and they were trying to make themselves part of the community over a couple of days, so it took a while to even get started in terms of practicing and getting into a routine. Yeah, and, and, and just the time change in itself, I mean, that is a major hurdle. A lot of the players that we talked to were still struggling with the, being up at night, not being able to sleep at night, and struggling to, to stay awake during the day. Uh, and, and it does take a little bit. It's an adjustment, no question about it, for that six-hour time difference. For a lot of these men who are still pretty young, though, oh, once-in-a-lifetime experience. What's coming? We come back inside the two-minute warning, and all Berlin is looking to do right now is continue to have that clock moving. Now, of course, Ryan, uh, they're going to have eight in the box every single time. That safety's going to come down, and, and John Allen, he, he calls most of the plays. There you see him communicating to his quarterback right there, giving him the next play. I have to ask you about that as we've watched that walkie-talkie communication today. What were your feelings about the idea that the owners meetings they decided not to allow walkie-talkie communication to the defense in the NFL? Well, Scott, I, I, I was very happy to see uh, the owners meetings uh, not allow that to go on. Uh, I, you don't need it. I've been a defensive coordinator in the NFL. I don't think you need to have that. And, and, I, and most coaches will, will kind of fudge on it and start giving checks and audibles and even though it's supposed to go off. So I, I was really glad to see that not go forward. And so that won't go forward. But as we said, this is also a, a place where experimentation is done in terms of rules that can be brought back across, as they say, the pond in the NFL play. The overtime rule, in, in my estimation, the overtime rule in NFL Europa is far superior to any overtime rule that the colleges or the NFL has. A 10-minute period where both teams are guaranteed getting one possession. They have to get one possession, but it's not the same as when you start at the 25-yard line and each team starts right. from there it's and that the, type of thing. You have a coin toss. You can take the ball you know, or, or kick it. You have your choice if you win the toss. And it's just fair uh, because I, I hate that in the NFL where so much uh, depends on that coin toss. If, if, you know, if you lose the football, 
uh, you know you can stop them and get the ball back and still win the game. Well, that is something we are not going to see here. It would appear no, in this one. Today. That's not going to happen here today. But I, I promise you, uh, we will do a game on the NFL Network that will go into the NFL Europa overtime uh, situation, and it's it's exciting and it's fair. So a minute 41 to go in this one is week one. They wind its way down, but as we said, a 10-week schedule. And here is what you got coming up for the Berlin Thunder. In fact, you and I have got Berlin and Hamburg coming up next week. And next up for them, it's Amsterdam and back-to-back -back games with Cologne. Yeah, that, that's all. <laughs> Those were always interesting, and, 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 and it happens uh, in the NFL Europa schedules, and, and you just deal with it, you know. Those games available on NFL Network. Keep an eye out on your local listings. It'll be fun. This is the second best football that there is in the world. No question. I mean, you've got obviously the NFL, but I'm telling you, uh, the NFL Europa season and the quality of play and the speed of the game, it's the second best level of football. I think that's the thing. The first time that I got to the across the NFL Europe for the very first time it surprised me it was not necessarily the size of the athletes but the speed at which the game was played considering you know relative I guess to the NFL yeah and, and that's always the biggest change going up as you go up to every level of football it's not the size it's the speed of the game it just keeps getting faster and faster and faster and uh, and in the NFL and in NFL Europa it is at a electric speed I think he's feeling pretty good about that first victory right about I now. I think he's feeling real good, and I know he's got a, a two uh, children at home, and they'll be coming over with his wife in the middle of the season, and they'll be glad to see their dad. They elect not to go for the field goal in this situation. Probably the correct choice. On fourth down at four, Ryan would hope they can get the ball back one more time. But there is a conversion for Berlin. Smart play, good call by John Allen. And you know, the first time that you have to make all those decisions yourself, he's made all the right calls today. He's made all the right decisions. That looks like a wow, another a cramp, cramp, another cramp. So I'm guessing at this point, the only thing in doubt is when the Gatorade bucket is going to get dumped over his head. Because that's got to happen, right? Your first coach, well, I coaching don't victory. Know. I mean, it's just. It's a regular season win. You'd think they'd wait, you know, for something a little more spectacular like World a Bowl. World Bowl win. First coach but it is win his ever. first game as the head coach. You're right. And of course, uh, now in the uh, situation to just absolutely run the clock out, the game would be over. There he is with his equipment manager. Everybody's happy for John. Man, he's That's a good great. guy. Terrific opportunity for him to come out, be a head coach, and just gets so much more special. Yeah, see, now he looks like he's he's taking things off right now because he kind of knows this is coming. Yeah. And oh, sure. oh, oh, they set him up. Now. They <laughs> set him up. <laughs> There's the sape uh, from uh, Corso Samoa. And the guys enjoy that, and nobody enjoys it more than the head coach right there. That's the most pleasant shower that man's ever taken. Absolutely. So the time winds down. Berlin goes on the road to Rhine, a very tough place to win an NFL Europa play, and they do get the victory by a final score of 15 to 3. John Allen, in his first game as a head coach at any professional level, walks off a little wet, but with a victory. Well, he and that team and that coaching staff are very, very happy. There you see him talking, talking with Coach Lance. And uh, he's off to a good start to his career as a head coach in uh, the World Bowl. Nine more weeks, and we'll know who's going to have a chance to play in that. And that is real exciting. Interesting and entertaining start to the 2007 NFL Europa season. Couple of new head coaches, couple of new quarterbacks, and a 15-3 victory for Berlin over Ryan in Dusseldorf. For Doug Graber, I'm Scott Graham. We thank you for being with us. Shower time for a victorious head coach.